What's up everyone? Today we're going to be doing the ICE video, the ICE team that you could build free to play friendly. And we're going to talk about the Stark faction because this is the fuel to the fire. They are the ICE team, three to five members. You're going to reduce the enemy stamina gain by 30 to 50% more. As you know, ice causes the target to gain 5% less stamina. So we are going to have a lot going on. Five ice. What will five ice do? Five ice will make them brittle. And this will cause 200% increased damage to the recipient. Now, there are lots of members that can be done in the ice team. But my team is going to be a little different. First of all, an honorable mention is the Ravenous Bone Collector. He has a fast move and he is red. He's kind of like a barrack for ice. 30% chance to inflict two ice upon each target. It's an AoE. It's fast, so you'll get it off often. You need people to charge you up. Another guy, he is going to be an all-star, is the Lord of Bones. He is not Stark. But he does an AoE with a 60% chance for ice on each target and then makes them brittle. Uh, does bonus damage when they're brittle. When an enemy is defeated, all enemies have a 25% chance to become afflicted with up to three ice. These are rolled separately. 25% chance three times for each character. We are going to go with, as you could see, you could talk about the Stark faction all of them have to do with ice and getting brittle. However, I am going with the best of the best for this team. We're going with Caitlyn Stark, and she is going to lead us into victory. While she is the team leader, when someone becomes brittle, her and the Starks gain 10% defense for three turns. This can stack multiple times, and each enemy is afflicted with one additional ice. So you get someone brittle, Everyone else gets one ice. It just keeps adding to it. Then you have her passive ability, which anytime one of her allies drops below 50%, she's going to sacrifice health to heal them, and each enemy is going to get 95% chance to be afflicted with one ice. So she's going to be making lots of ice. You could go with Ned for his leadership ability. However, I do not want to take that 35% chance. I like the other ability better. So um, uh, also with Ned, you're going to go with the KO punch because he's going to have his brittle target take 602% of physical attack damage plus 200% more because they are brittle in addition to the taunt. So he's going to be the knockout punch to the team. Then he's going to heal when someone becomes brittle. And he's going to give them physical resistance for five turns. So that's going to be charging it up even more. Then you have the horizontal gem, which gives the Starks 10% physical resistance for three turns. Now I'm going to talk about the other two, which are commons that everyone is going to get. You're going to get the Woodland Archer. The Woodland Archer has an AoE. 80% chance to inflict each enemy with two ice. This is normal speed. She also stealths herself when someone becomes brittle. Now, these are level 50, so they might not survive, but that's okay. Then we're going to go with the Brawler. The Brawler has a fast speed skill. Also, the Lord of Bones, so they will happen at the same time. And you have a 65% chance to afflict the target with ice four times with this swing. Now the best part of the brawler is his passive. When someone becomes brittle, the brawler stuns them for three turns. So you're gonna be getting this enemy team stun locked. You just need to match gold and you need to match purple. Let's go ahead and show this off in some raids. Now they are very low, so we're gonna face some low rank teams just so we could show you the effect. Okay, we got the team ready. Let's match some gems. Beautiful. To start, we got a four spot of gold. And we're going to put this in faster speed. 
Okay, we're going to pop this. Bam. And now we're getting the train rolling. So let us try to make... Who are we going to make brittle? Let's try to make him brittle. Ice. Ice. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Now we got Ned ready. Do we want to tank? Do we want to tank? We want to take Tyrion out. We got plenty on the board. Okay. So as you can see, more ice, brittle, stun. He has five ice, brittle. Now, brittle lasts 98, 100 turns. He's stunned for two turns. He has one ice. Ghost has three ice. And Tyrion has three ice. So right now we're in pretty good shape. Let us do the brittle attack on their guy and see how much damage it does. So here we go. Ice. Boom. 26,000. He's knocked out. <clears throat> Let's get... Uh, more stamina going. Okay. Now we got them up again. So, it's time to do more ice. He has four ice. And Ghost has three. Let's pop the archer move. Stun. They're both stunned. And brittle. Brittle and stunned. So now Lord of Bones is going to do more damage. And let's go ahead and finish this match off. So as you can see, just a ton of potential right there. These are only level 50. They're getting the job done. They're stunning. There's lots of ice. No stamina. Bam. And then Ned hits him with the KO punch.